gamers. Happy May the 4th and May 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 the 4th be with you. <laughs> it's Star Wars Day everyone and because it's Star Wars Day, we're going to go ahead and do some gaming in Men of War Assault Squad to the Star Wars Galaxy at War mod and today we have all of the light side armies minus uh the old republic because I can't get that add on with the current version as well as the First Order add-on. So, you know, all the light side armies that I have access to in Galaxy at War versus all of the dark side armies that I have access to in Galaxy at War. So, for the dark side, we have battle droids, we have stormtroopers, and we have First Order stormtroopers. And then we've also got ourselves uh, the vast majority of the dark side heroes that are in the game. Kylo Ren, Darth Vader, Count Dooku, uh, of the Deku Tree. We've also got Thrawn. You know, the... the bunch of them, baby. Uh, Star Killer, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, and then for the light side, of course, we have the Rebel Alliance, we've got the Resistance, and then we've got the Clone Troopers over this way. Uh, we got Ahsoka, we got Plo, we've got Leia, we've got Han, we've got Mace Windu, Captain Rags, Commander Cody, etc, etc. We even got Anakin, so Anakin's technically on both sides of the battlefield, which is kind of cool. But that's not all. I also spiced it up with a uh, sort of factions that I think cross the line between dark and light and really just do their own thing. So we have the Mandalorian over here with the Death Watch. I know he probably wouldn't be a part of the Death Watch, but, uh, you know, that's the only Mandalorians I had in game. So I stuck him with them. Uh, then over here, we have Tusken Raiders with Boba Fett which I thought would be kind of fun from the Book of Boba Fett. Uh, and then over this way, we've got Jango Fett with a bunch of mercenary warriors. So uh, they are going to be in the middle lines here, and they also potentially could win this arena battle, although they are far weaker than uh, the dark side versus the light side armies. So probably not going to win this one. I actually might ship the Tuscans more towards the middle to make it fair for both sides. Either way, guys, this is going to be awesome. Please be sure to hit that like button if you enjoy the video. Subscribe if you have not already. And comment down below if you'd like to see more of these arena battles. And also, if you're doing anything special for Star Wars Day. Um, I am. I have in my Discord server, uh, in the giveaways section, a giveaway for the Star Wars collection on Steam. So, if you guys want to go and join that giveaway, link in the description below to the Discord, uh, and you can enter to win. It'll be going on for five days. Either way, guys, let's get into this battle. What's up, gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off, as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. Alrighty then gamers, let's go in slow-mo for the start here. Uh, I tried to make it so the Tuscans were a little bit more towards the middle so that way the, uh, you know, uh, light side troopers and the dark side troopers wouldn't have unfair sort of advantages at the beginning. I don't really care about the people in the middle too much. They're probably going to lose. They're mainly just here for fun and to add another sort of dynamic obstacle to the battle. Either way, the Tuscans are getting into the thick of it. I think I put Boba Fett on the wrong side. One second. Alrighty then, I made a mistake. Let's press start again. I accidentally put Boba Fett against the Tusken Raiders on the battlefield on the wrong team. Uh, so there's that. Either way, I do think that the Tuscans could potentially do decently here. Mainly because their cycler rifles are actually beastly. Let's go in slow-mo now as we finally get this battle actually going. And we've got grenades already wiping out a lot of the mercenaries over here. Jango Fett's boys uh, getting caught in crossfire between the Sith over this way uh, and the... Uh, Tuscans over this way, but yeah, Tuscan cycler rifles are actually kind of beast mode. They're so good in this game that they could potentially win, I guess. Uh, and also the Mandalorians, they have really good rifles too, so I guess there's always a chance. Somehow Rebels and Clone Troopers getting up on top of these ramparts here, that's very strange, but kind of impressive. Hey, the Stormtroopers are doing it over here, and so are the Battle Droids, so that's not too shabby-labby. Both sides getting some uh, advantage points over that way. Look at this. Jango Fett is already dead. His troopers are dying right now. Asajj Ventress way up here with those dual-wielding lightsabers. Only one Trandoshan left, so 
technically these guys could still win if this guy somehow manages to live through the entirety of the battle uh but i highly doubt he just killed kylo ren Oh no, he didn't. Kylo Ren's taking out like Force Lightning or something like that. <laughs> I thought Kylo Ren just died to that Trandoshan. That would have been so sad. Either way, uh, Jago Fett's troopers are out of this thing. Look at this. Obi-Wan going deep along with Lukey Pookie, baby. And this guy. I always forget his name, but uh, he is in this battle as well. Uh-oh. Thermal Detonator going out from the Mandalorian side of things here. Gonna uh, interact with a lot of Jedi here, potentially. Nope, never mind. They are ducking away. Where is Mando, by the way? Oh, there's Mando. He's in there with his rifle. That rifle is so cool, man. I wish Mandalorian would still use that uh, in his show. That would be pretty sick. Oh, Obi-Wan takes a nasty hit. It looks like his neck is doing some funky, funky things right there. But, hey, it is what it is, boys. Mace Windu going nuts on some Mandalorians over here, too. All right, but the Tusken Raiders appear to be going up against Starkiller right now. Uh... They are laying some fire into him. Oh, Boba Fett with the flamethrower lighting Asajj Ventress on fire right now. Tuscan's going ham. Oh, but he did catch a few of his own troopers on fire there too. And himself. Oh, Boba. Maybe don't use the flamethrower in the future. Look at that. Force lightning going out. Ha! <laughs> That's so cool. I love that. Oh my god. All right, Tuscan's having a bad time now. They're trying to take out Count and Deku of the Deku tree. Having a tough go at it. Look at this. Tuscan's with their uh, staffs going up against Starkiller right now. Oh, the Force Lightning's coming in. Oh, maybe the Force Lightning catches them on fire. Oh, that might be why Boba Fett was on fire was due to Force Lightning. But Boba is down either way. Yeah, I don't think any of the third-party troopers are going to end up winning this thing. There's only a few Mandalorians left alive here. The Mandalorian ended up going down. Did they kill any Jedi, by the way? I don't see any downed Jedi, so I don't think so. Ahsoka's over here. Leia's over here, healing up a little bit. Good job, Leia. Qui-Gon, going deep. He's going for the kill, baby. Come on, chop him up, Qui-Gon. It is kind of fun having all of these different soldiers that we don't normally see in battles fighting together. It's pretty sick, dude. Darth Vader... Deep in here, Asajj Ventress has eventually gone down here. Darth Maul, General Grievous, they're all going up against the large light side army over here. The dark side army hasn't really come that far forward yet. It looks like actually a large number of stormtroopers and first order troopers ended up dying over here. I think battling the Tuscans right there, which is a little bit rough. And actually the Tuscans still alive. How is that possible, dude? Let's go ahead and bump it up a speed here. They're trying to take out Dooku right now. Dooku is deflecting a lot of those incoming shots. I don't even think these are blaster shots. I think the Tuscans use, like, bullets or something along those lines. Not fully sure on that one. There's Commander Cody, my favorite clone trooper commander. Of course, he's going to be in this battle. And Han Solo going up against Darth Vader here. Yavol. Um, and Darth Maul and General Grievous backing up Darth Vader. Look at Han Solo. He's just going deep and just, like, straight up firing dead into Darth Vader's cranium. That's a, that's a wild strategy. Darth Vader is too busy having to deflect a lot of these blaster bolts to actually combat any of these troopers here. You know, it's just one of those things, baby. You know, when you gotta deflect so many blaster bolts, you can't necessarily kill Han Solo. Or Commander Cody. <laughs> Last of the Tuscans over here do appear to be going down right now. They're still fighting Dooku! Dude, the Sith have so much health in this. So do the Jedi. Any hero unit has just absurd amounts of health. I'm just shocked that these guys are still alive, though. Oh! There goes another Tuscan due to some force lightning from the Palpy Baby over here. Giving him the old one-two shockaroo. Wow, look at all these light side troopers coming in here. Looks like Darth Vader... Oh, no, wait. Is he still up? He is still up. But look at this. They're just all firing deep into the hero units. It's just hero unit calamity right now. All of the hero units going up against each other currently. Look at this. Mace Windu and that other random Jedi I can never remember the name of going deep over here against the dark side units. It seems like the light side army is uh, approaching a lot faster than the dark side army is. They're, they're a little bit more gung-ho on, uh, on the faster movement. All right, let's drop it down to speed. Because there's so many lasers and lightsabers on the battlefield, it is plummeting our FPS currently. So we got to drop it down a little bit. We still have this massive hero battle going on in the middle, and it's just as derpy as you would imagine it to be in Star Wars Galaxy at War, with the hero units not really dying, but also not really doing anything to help, because that's what hero units do, baby. That is just what they do. Look at this dude. He's just going so deep. So is Mace Windu, and they're just taking so many shots from these stormtroopers, dude. It's crazy. Um, all right, what's going on over here? Are the Tuscans all dead? Nope, there's one Tuscan left alive over here, and he is continuing... To fire at Count Dooku. Bro, <laughs> what are you doing? 
Count Duke is so weird right now, dude. Uh, so technically, the Tuscans could still win this entire thing with that one trooper, but they need to basically stay alive this whole time. And there's a grenade right there in the center of Darth Vader. Big boom boom! Takes out Ahsoka, Darth Vader, and a rebel trooper right there. Uh, Commander Cody also down for the count right now. Bit of a yikes from me, dog. Darth Vader gets back up and continues to swing. Ahsoka is back up as well. Darth Maul bites the dust there. Darth Maul is dead dead. Chewbacca might have pummeled him to death, but Chewbacca goes down right there as well. General Grievous still slaying right now. We've got uh, Captain Rex, Leia, and Han Solo up in the biz right here, as well as Luke Skywalker, Plo, Obi-Wan, and Qui-Gon right over there. Mace Windu taking a lot of shots. He's about to get grenaded here, so uh, that could do some serious damage to him. Look at this. This is just all out, just firing squad, these hero units. That is all they're doing. Oh, okay, he runs away from the grenade, manages to get away from it, and is continuing to deflect incoming blaster bolts as he moves away. Battle droids, stormtroopers, and first order troopers all still at a nice little firing line set up over this way. Um, and the forces of the light seem to be a little bit more sparsed out here, and they're also firing lining uh, the remainder of the Sith forces here. Darth Vader must have the most health of any unit in the Star Wars galaxy at War Mod. Like, seriously, he's got so much health, it's crazy. Why does he have this much health? Well, I guess he is kind of a beast, uh, but it's it's kind of insane. I mean, Darth Maul died before he did, and Darth Vader has been up here for forever. For forever. I just saw some lightning come out of somewhere. Is Palpy over here? Oh, yeah, there's Palpatine, there's Dooku. Uh, looks like they did finally kill that. Nope, that Tuscan's still alive right there. And there's Starkiller and the Inquisitor. So the Sith Troopers seem to not be really in the battle, whereas the Jedi are getting very much so in the battle here. Alright, let's go into full speed here and see if some of these hero units just eventually die. I mean, they must. They don't have infinite health, but they do have a lot of health. <laughs> eventually, I have a feeling it will just be uh, the regular troopers versus regular troopers and all the hero units will likely have died, mainly because, I mean, the, the hero units tend to just suicide in and play really, really stupidly, um, so I imagine the hero units will die off uh, eventually here, and we will just get down to regular units, which I'm almost hoping for, uh, you know, the hero units are a fun addition to these battles, but they're so derpy, man, they're so derpy, it's kind of cringe to watch for too long, I don't know how General Grievous and Darth Vader are still alive, it's just so weird. All right, Palpy's going around with his force lightning, bro. Oh, he's giving the old shock to Plo over here. And Luke. It's not the first time Luke has been shocked by Palpatine. <laughs> no sorry, Bob. Not the first. Dude, how is Darth Vader still alive? How? What? What? This is, like, unreal. <laughs> Absolutely unreal. Duke is kind of getting involved. Finally, that Tusken Raider does die. Okay. Took him long enough to kill that guy. And then, uh, looks like this Jedi did end up dying here. Um, he's just in a glitch state, I think. Yeah, he is in a glitch state. Um, uh, Windu's still in there, though. Sometimes when the hero units die, they do glitch out. Hey, there's Thrawn! <laughs> that's kind of fun. Qui-Gon's also up in the air, fighting away. Mace Windu has seven kills. That's not too bad. I have a feeling Mace is probably gonna go down pretty soon here from these dark side units. But they cleared out... A solid number of them over this way, so that's not too shabby. Oh, did Darth Vader finally die? Nope. Darth Vader's still right there. Still right there. Oh, is he in a glitch state now? Is he just alive? No, nope, he's just alive. How is Darth Vader still alive? This is puzzling. This is... <laughs> this is insane. There's Luke right there. Did, did Grievous go down? Okay, Grievous actually went down. It's insane, dude. Okay, there's... Oh, no. Rex. Dodge those. Dodge those shots. Oh, God. Okay, over this way. Uh, Plo ended up dropping. He might still be alive, just unconscious, I have a feeling. Um, and Ahsoka also dropped. Same thing with that. I think sometimes the Force Lightning will knock them unconscious. Yep. And then he just... It's like a taser. He, he knocks them unconscious, they get back up, and then he just immediately shoots them again. That's brutal. Yep, see? <laughs> oh, my God. Palpy, you are a cruel man. All right, Rex, what are you doing with that DC-17? Bro, you are way up here. You are not coming out of this thing alive, Rex. <laughs> you might have made some mistakes here. Oh, looks like these guys are back up. Oh, Plo goes back down. Ahsoka's still alive. Oh, we have also got some clone troopers uh, rounding on uh, Count Deku of the Deku Tree over here. Oh, 
Luke almost got hit by some Force Lightning, but manages to dodge out of the way. But that Force Lightning is just hitting so many clone troopers. It's unreal. Oh, Count Dooku takes a nade. Where did he even go? Oh, he flew all the way over this way. He's still alive. He's just down right now. Oh my goodness. Ahsoka also down for the count. This is crazy, dude. Uh, uh, it's kind of a fun battle, just how chaotic it is. Finally, we're getting a little bit more combat between the light side and the dark side troopers here. Dark side troopers, their firing line has sort of retreated back almost into a lot of these tunnels, also uh, behind a lot of these walls and things like that. Whereas uh, the light side troopers seem to be really focusing in on just full charge, full charging forward. Let's go in slow-mo for a little bit here. Yeah, they're just going for it. They're just gunning it down this bridge here. And actually just throwing their full weight into the battle seems to be working out for them at least a little bit. They're doing all right against these guys. It, it's not too bad. Grenades getting thrown over here. I think actually a major reason they're doing pretty well is because these hero units are up here actually uh, taking a lot of the fire for the light side armies. And, and in taking that fire, uh, they're allowing the light side armies to uh, get their own fire output going. I believe Qui-Gon is dead over here. He doesn't have his lightsaber out. He's just sort of in a glitch state again. Obi-Wan is still alive, though. There's Thrawn. He's still chilling right now. Um, and there's Luke right there. Oh my god, the Inquisitor and Starkiller, by the way, still alive over this way. Oh, it looks like Palpy ended up finally going down. Dooku's somehow still alive. Plo is still alive over here. Got a resistance trooper going for Dooku right now. Dooku just still deflecting, baby. He's going for that deflect. Deflect to the game, baby. He, he wants that uh, that trophy. Most deflects in one game. Actually, that's probably going to go to Darth Vader because he stayed alive for forever. Actually, is Okay, Darth Vader finally went down. He's just in a glitch state. <laughs> I was going to say, if Darth Vader was still alive, I would be shooketh. I would be shooketh to death. That is what I would be. Um, all right, crossing the bridge over here. All of the uh, light side units right now. Luke... Far ahead of them right now. So is Obi-Wan. The Juanster. The Juan Deeg. Um, oh, Thrawn actually gets grenaded and ends up going down right there uh, due to some clone troopers, which is a little bit of an ouchie. We've got battle droids and we got ourselves uh, some First Order troopers hiding behind cover together here. All of the synergy. You gotta love the synergy, baby. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> All right, here come the boys. The cavalry has arrived for the light side forces. They're actually getting up to the positions where uh, Luke and Obi-Wan are. I will say, I think the light side might have this in the bag. They're being very aggressive. They're attacking wholeheartedly. I think the light side might uh, be approaching this game correctly. Oh, there's Kylo. Kylo's still alive right there. That's crazy. Um, yeah, the light side might actually uh, be playing the game just right here. How is Dooku still alive, though? Do Sith have more health than the Jedi? That is what I'm wondering. I really don't know. <laughs> it kind of seems that way, though, dude. It kind of seems that way. All right, let's bump it up a speed again here. Um, yeah, the, the dark side troopers are dropping like flies, man. I, I never actually fully understood that because flies are really hard to kill. But, but the saying is implying that flies are easy to kill because they're dropping a lot. But, but flies... You, you try and swat it at a fly, you, you end up taking like 30 swings before you finally maybe clip its wings and then another 30 more until you actually kill it or something. So, I, I don't know where that saying is coming from, dude. Not one bit. Either way, <laughs> the light side units are coming in full force right now. Dark side units, yeah, they are actually dropping pretty badly. They're not managing to hold these points that they've got. They're getting some decent grenades out that I am noticing here. Uh, but the Jedi that are leading the charge just are absorbing so much damage. And I think that's why the light side units are managing to really make it happen. Meanwhile, all of the dark side heroes that are still alive are just over here doing their own thing. And finally, Dooku, we just witnessed him go down. Now it's up to Starkiller and the Inquisitor over here to hold out this area. And Kylo Ren is, of course, still over here. So the dark side units all seem to go to the left over here and just do nothing while the light side units are actually leading the charge. It's, it's kind of impressive how the light side is uh, being so heroic right now. It's almost fitting towards the grand scheme of this battle. By the way, is there still more? Oh yeah, there's still more First Order Troopers back here too. Um, looks like the sniper up there ended up getting downed eventually. Oh, more grenades going out there. Oh, that was a cheeky one. Killed many a clone trooper with that grenade. Whoever threw that deserves a promotion if they live till the end of this battle. <laughs> Star Killer is going off on these guys over here, or at least trying to. He's not having a great time, I will say that. Yeah, he's getting fisted and hammered and grenaded and blasted everywhere. Yeah, he, oh, he's having a bad day. Oh, God, he fell off the cliff. 
Oh wait, did he? No, he almost fell off the cliff there. <laughs> this other poor chap did. Oh, yeah, he's he's dead down there, I think. Rip, rip, potato chip to my mans. Well, Starkiller, I think, will come back up, and uh, so will Flo right there. Um, my boy Kylo, still in it. All the boys still in it. Okay, not all the boys. Most of the boys are dead. <laughs> Very sad. All right, let's bump it up another speed here. Uh, a light side continues their pummeling campaign against the dark side. Although they have been kind of stopped here, and mainly because of grenade grenades. Look at all of the grenade scorch marks on the ground. It seems like uh, the dark side units have just managed to grenade them out of here and uh, keep them at bay, which is definitely delaying uh, the assault from the light side, which is pretty helpful, I think. Uh, here's Kylo right here. He's still got his uh, his force lightning thing out. I don't know why he's got that. He's not doing anything with it. He's not, it's not like Palpy, who was just going nuts. Kylo just seems to be doing nothing. What, what are you doing, Kylo? He's just getting surrounded by troopers here. Uh, Starkiller must have gone down. Yeah, I think Starkiller is dead dead over that way. Oh, and the Grand Inquisitor also died <laughs> right there. So now the light side of the force has a flanking route over this way they can utilize. Kylo doing nothing, just like in the movies. He's getting grenaded. <laughs> What is he doing? He's like going hand-to-hand -hand combat. He's getting a couple kills. I mean, he killed this clone trooper right there. This is a very bizarre battle for Kylo. He got another kill. He's being more effective than most of the Jedi have been in this entire battle. There's Han Solo. His dad is now fighting him. Oh, they're, they're going fisticuffs. And Han Solo wins with a KO against Kylo. Woo! Sometimes daddy's got to take over right there. Oh, there's the dead body of Mace Windu. Force levitating. Couple more clone troopers going down over that way, but look at this. The flank is coming through from the light side. Uh, the dark side reacts to it. Ahsoka is leading the charge here. A couple of resistance troopers going down, uh, but also a couple of first order troopers going down there. If reinforcements come through this tunnel a little bit more, you can see a large scale flank and a serious defeat of the dark side forces right there. That could be pretty impressive. Um, we've also got some more light side forces coming around this way, but they're getting gunned down pretty good here at this point in time. All right, let's check out the standings currently. So on the minimap at the top left, red are light side troopers blue are dark side troopers which is kind of the opposite of what they should be but that's fine in terms of color coordination um and the blue definitely has less troopers than the red um so the light side is definitely winning currently but uh the blue side is in a bit more of a defensive battle right now which we've seen defensive battles can pull through at the end of the day sometimes I'm not sure if it'll happen this time oh it looks like ahsoka might have died nope ahsoka is still alive um yeah, so we could potentially see a victory here from the Dark Side Troopers simply because they are playing extremely defensively. But with these hero units, it is hard to play defensively because they can just absorb so much fire. And then, uh, as we've seen in this battle many times, the infantry units just then comes in after the fire has been absorbed by the hero units. It's been a good strategy from the light side this whole time. One that the Dark Side probably should have taken under consideration and utilized themselves but just didn't want to, it seems. By the way, we're just at about the 20 minute mark, so I gotta pause and restart the recording. All right, sorry about that, guys, but we are back. I mean, it was no time for you, but sorry for the brief interruption right there. All right, here comes Plo. He's coming in deep, uh, and Ahsoka is with him right there. Hey, they, they loved each other during the Clone Wars. Very nice, very nice. They're epic. You love to see. Han Solo also still alive right there. And they really are just kind of cleaning up the last remainders of uh, these light side forces. What, what are you doing in there? You're not a dark side trooper. <laughs> Get back on your side there, soldier. What are you doing? Yeah, look at this. Uh, these guys just slowly getting their land encroached upon. Also down here as well, it seems. Last little stormtrooper guy died right there in this tunnel. Tunnel is now under light side control. Uh, we've also got Plo over here flushing out a couple of first order troopers there. Uh, and there's one stormtrooper left alive right here. He's getting shot. There we go. He's down now. Clone troopers and rebels moving in on these troopers over this way. It is definitely looking like we are going to be seeing a light side victory at the end of the day here. Uh, these guys actually taking out quite a number of uh, light side troopers before they themselves will inevitably go down here. Uh, ooh, that guy got shot in the gut real bad, but there is crossfire coming in over this way from the light side troopers that might end up taking them out. There are still a number of uh, first order troopers over here left alive. They're just not entering into the battle. <laughs> these four, this little... This little four, four squad over this way is just going ham. Oh, they lost one of their troopers. They lost a second one of their troopers. Now there's only two left. Rip, rip, potato chip. There we go. They're, they're still getting a few more kills. 
They're going for Han Solo right now, but I doubt they get the kill on him. Look at this. These guys lasted a while. Got quite a number of kills right there. All right, the last of those troopers are down. Now it's just these random First Order troopers back here. Uh, why don't we go ahead and send a squad of uh, light side troopers to go engage with them to start the engagement. Actually, it looks like Ahsoka is going to do that for us here. And she's just moving around there. But here comes the light side squad and Han Solo moving in as well. Uh, and they're just going to slowly shoot these guys down. The light side won by a wide margin here. By a wide, wide margin. There we go. Light side just dominated. I really think that strategy of send hero units in um, and then send in the troopers quickly following them helped out the light side a lot here. So if we look at the deaths here, red are dead. Um, light side troopers slash uh, any of the mandos and stuff like that. Uh, and then yellow are dead dark side troopers. Definitely a lot of kills across the entire battlefield, but I, I think there was a dominant victor here in the light side. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know if you'd like to see more battles similar to this in the future. It was really fun to do. I'd definitely be keen on doing another one of these. Either way, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content. And hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.